Hey everyone, we're back in Beetlejuice's graveyard. And you know why? In case you guys joined me in making the OMG version of our Beetlejuice and Lydia dolls, this setting may look familiar. But we're here because even though Mattel Creations said that they would send out orders on or around October 25th, they ended up sending it super early. I got mine like September 6th, I think, or 5th. So you guys get to meet the official Beetlejuice and Lydia dolls from Mattel Creations today. I know, I'm so excited. Here is how they package it for you. It comes in a brown box. It says Mattel Creations on it. And I cannot tell you how excited I was to see this at my doorstep. I didn't want to take it out of the box, so I didn't take it out until I can get you guys here with me. And there it is, okay, so pretty. They package it so nicely, I feel so special. So if you guys were waiting to get the Beetlejuice dolls, you know how hard it was to put an order in for one of these. They sold out in like four minutes, literally four minutes. My hands are a little greasy, I just put lotion on. And here's the actual package. So it's got like a little slippy thingy. You take it off. These dolls were going for $90, but if you just do one simple search on eBay, you can see that resellers are already selling them for like 200 and something, 300 and something dollars. It's crazy. There you go, finally got it off. You guys ready to meet them? I'm super excited. Here it is. The box is everything. And I know a lot of people want to leave them in box, but I'm gonna have to take this one out so we can see them together and kind of compare what I got right and what I got wrong, what I changed on purpose on my OMG DIY. And on top of this, I want to share my entire Monster High Collectors Mattel Creations collection with you guys. These dolls aren't just any random old dolls, they're for 17 plus, so they're definitely for serious collectors. All the dolls I have are in box. I have not taken them out yet. With the It doll, I got pretty lucky because I couldn't make it for when they were actually selling it. Just like a lot of you, unfortunately, couldn't make it for the Beetlejuice dolls. They sold out so quick. Same with It, same with the Shining Twins. So I had to buy them from resellers. The Shining Twins were the ones that cost me a very pretty penny. I couldn't find them for the life of me for anything cheaper than $250. So these ones were super expensive. I got pretty lucky with this one because I found her for $85 on Amazon. I'm sure you guys have seen plenty of unboxings of the It Dolls and the Shining Twins, but here is a quick little look-see in case you haven't seen them. They're so ghoulishly fabulous, aren't they? Look at the back of the Pennywise one. How creepy is this scene? I remember being terrified of any balloons after seeing it for well, like the 50th time. It's actually one of the movies in my collection. I love the original It. I can't, I just can't do the new one. No offense to everyone who loves the new one, but I just think if the original is the bomb.com, then you don't really need to make a new version of it. But this, this is an all time classic. Definitely recommend for my older viewers. Don't recommend for my younger viewers, you know what I'm saying? And uh, Shining, mm, I don't know. The original is okay. I just don't, uh, don't know how to put it. The original is okay. I like the remake of The Shining, the miniseries one better. I know there's gonna be so many people coming at me for that one, but that's just, that's just my preference. But the creepy twins kind of make me sad and, and they kind of creep me out too. The Grady twins. Hello there. We see you playing all alone. We of all ghouls understand just how lonely this hotel can be, especially when it's monstrously snowy outside. Why don't you come play with us? We have been haunting these halls forever and ever and ever, lurking for a guest like you to be our new beast friend. Somebody who can appreciate how scary cute we are. Mirror images, holding hands in our matching dresses. Oh, please don't ride your tricycle away. Maybe we can use this key to play a fantastic game of hide and shriek in room 237. We only hope that you have a freaky fab time during your stay here at the Overlook Hotel. And look at the ball. The ball that they lured poor, poor Daniel with. To be honest, I'm not planning on keeping them in the box. It just kind of happened that way. I really did want to share them with you guys, but just didn't get around to it. Hiya, Georgie. 
poor little Georgie. Pennywise doll. You'll float too, ghoul. Hiya, you in the Losers Club. Is my lurking a bit too freaky for you down in my gutter? You know what they say. One person's sewer is a clown's home sweet home. Are you not intrigued by my killer style and my gorgeous smile? You say you are fierce, that you are not afraid. Prove it. Show me you are unique. Show me you are a monster too. All you got to do is float. Come on, we all float down here. Ugh. So, so stinking creepy. She's even got the little Georgie paper sailboat. The background is pretty creepy too. There goes the side of the box. I don't know, there's something about this doll that is just so amazing. Her fiery red hair, the curls, the paint. They did do the new it paint on her face. I kind of like the newer outfit. Maybe took a little bit of the old Pennywise outfit, but my goodness. This has to be one of my favorite dolls in the entire collection. All right, so the moment you've all been waiting for, it's showtime. Let's check all the deets, the side of the box. We've got Beetlejuice and Lydia. Then on the back of the box, we've got the Beetlejuice tombstone and Lydia. And you guys know that the tombstone does not come with it. That's why I DIY'd it with the OMG DIY. But let's read a little bit about the dolls. Beetlejuice and Lydia dolls. Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetle. Yeah, you don't want to say it three times <laughs> unless you want Beetlejuice's annoying self here. Come on, ghoul, it's showtime. Say my name three times and we'll be compadres, amigos, BFFs. I'll show you the ropes about being a ghost and you help me get back to the land of the living. What do you say? If only more of the recently deceased were like my goth to bestie. Lydia, you gotta love her pitch dark sense of fashion. It's totally to die for. She has some scary good calypso moves too. So stop acting grave and just say it. Together, we're gonna be the best bio exorcist team this podunk winter river village has ever seen. Side of the box only says Beetlejuice on it. The logo's even amazing. All right, that's enough blabber. Let's take a look at the dolls. Oh, there they are. I love it. The background, everything. We've got Beetlejuice's sign, the graveyard. We are actually in Adam's little model town. And here is Adam and Barbara's house. I'm gonna take off the plastic so there's no glare and you don't see my reflection. We can take a better look at the dolls. You know, it's almost like they were made to stay inside the box. There's like nowhere to open it without totally tearing it apart. So I'm really trying not to mess up the box. Oh my goodness. It hurts to do this, but okay, I'm really trying to take this out here. Just all that, there you go, there you go. Huh, okay, and that's how you get to the doll stands. Right on the bottom of the box. And then you slide it out. Oh my goodness, here they are. Here they come. All right, boys and ghouls, here we are. There is both of the girls. Ah, out on my camera. So, you know, pictures only go so far. I had reference pictures to look at from the Mattel Creations website and from their Instagram page. And that is what we made our OMG dolls with. Let's see how close I got them. I know the hair color is slightly off. So here is OMG Beetlejuice and OMG Lydia. Aside from the size difference, I say they're pretty similar. Okay, so they each get their own doll stands and the doll stands say Monster High on them. And they have the little waist adapter and the base that you put together. So let's take a close look at Beetlejuice. So there is her very detailed hat. I tried to create this detail on our OMG doll's hat because you can see there's a lot of like 3D details and the little skeleton face with the bat at the end of the movie. Kind of like a little carnival ride in Beetlejuice. That's what they're trying to get with the hat. She has lime green, I would say, like a yellow green colored crimped hair. I chose to do mine with yarn. And this is actual, I think, nylon hair. The shading of the hair is a wee bit off, of course. Well, that is a-okay. It's pretty similar still. For Mattel Creations Beetlejuice, we've got the pretty monster high face. And she's got the contour in green with the purple eyeshadows, eyebrows, and burgundy lips. 
I had a hard time with the face. I was trying to capture Beetlejuice's face here, Mattel Creations Beetlejuice's face. You can see that she has two tones of blue in her eyes. You couldn't really catch that off a lot of the promo pictures. And she's got the sandworms for her earrings. I gave her Chillax's earrings because they were pretty similar. They're just curly sandworms. She has a tie and a collar that is made out of plastic. She comes with her own blazer. And the belt is different from my OMG one. Let's take this off. It closes in the back. We can open that up to get to the inside of her outfit. She has like a one piece jumper type of outfit. There is that train that we were talking about. We get to see that up close and personal. So she's got some spider web lace and some type of, I would say kind of like camouflage print, purple and green in the train of her outfit. I didn't give that from my Beetlejuice and the top I created separate, so it's a crop top. You guys can check out that video if you wanna see all the details of the DIY OMG dolls. But for right now, the spotlight is our Mattel Creations Beetlejuice dolls. She has no sleeves underneath, so it's like a cropped jumper. She has no nail polish just white all over and her shoes. Let's take a look at those Adam and Barbara masks in the back. You guys voted for me to add color. Let's just take a look at these ones and see the details. It's kind of like a hidden surprise in the heels, isn't it? It's pretty fun. And from the front, they look like regular old Doc Martens. Now, moving on to shy, timid Lydia. So our Lydia kind of sort of cut some more sun than our Mattel Creations Lydia. We've got some color to ours. I love the detail in the Mattel Creations Lydia's hat. Look how beautiful that is. It looks like an actual hat. I couldn't create that on mine. I tried to with a belt and some model magic, but the real deal is a lot more detail. Take a look at that. She also has the ribbon going through her hat to go down to her neck so we can tie it off there. I really love the way they did her face. She looks shy, timid. She is so much prettier in person. Now she's got the Lydia bangs. I like her bangs better than Lydia's bangs in the movie because Lydia's bangs are like right there. They're not even this long. But I tried to create the look on mine too just by the pictures so it looks like she does have it half up, half up. And her hair is all black. Now the real detail that I feel like was really Tim Burton inspired was the spiral, almost spooky branches on her dress. And they are just the prettiest holographic print. And they're actually really soft. I thought they would kind of be like 3D feeling almost. But yeah, this is like the softest fabric. I would say this is satin and I used satin too. So, but my satin's a lot thicker. She has a very soft satin. They did end up lining her skirt with a crunchier material. It's not a super soft material like her dress. Oh yeah, we don't want to forget her handbook for the recently deceased. It's super tiny and it's just for show. You can't open it or anything. Here is her camera. Nice little props. And she also has some tights on. And here are her shoes with the detail in the back. They look like platform Oxfords, her shoes. And here is the Beetlejuice in the back of her shoes that we tried to recreate. So here is my take on that. So what do you guys think? I think it's an awesome addition to the Monster High Collector family. Let me know in the comment section how many of the dolls you guys have collected in your Monster High Collectors collection, if any. And if you haven't, that's okay. Just whatever is in your wish list. That's it for now. I'm super excited that I got to share the Beetlejuice and Lydia dolls with you. If you haven't checked out my custom video where I customize Beetlejuice and Lydia in our OMG dolls, I will link it in the description box and in a cue card somewhere up here. Click the thumbs up button if you are a Monster High Collector fan. And until next time, I will see you later. Bye for now.